What is up everybody, Mr. Bix here, back in the auto shop with another vehicle customization video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and let's get into it. Today we are customizing to the Classy Vigero ZX Convertible, which is based off a 6th generation Chevy Camaro SS Convertible, obviously. And this one, of course, is in a muscle car category. And it'll set you back $2.3 million, which is about four to five thousand dollars more than the previous one, like this. Not really sure why we got a convertible of this, but let's customize it anyway. If you guys want to see me customize the regular version, please leave a like and comment below. So we armored it up, braked it up, and let's look at the bumpers. Uh, chin out got a carbon race and we got a super race bumper trimmed okay um let's go with the super raced bumper it was kind of cool this car already already looks kind of aggressive so let's uh Give it a shot. Um, just some carbon and secondary in the back, not too much. Let's go engine it up. Exhaust. Um, let's go double titanium. Let's see. Yeah. Let's go double titanium. I like how they are flush with the back end there. That looks kind of good. Let's look at the grill. Got a couple different colors. Got a little honeycomb. Let's go with a black honeycomb, I think. Uh, let me look at the GT here. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the honeycomb. Um, am I gonna go GT or am I gonna go honeycomb? Yeah, I'm gonna leave it honeycomb. Why not? For the hood. For the hood, I think I'm gonna do something in carbon. Carbon vented. All right. Carbon hood. It's the regular. Aftermarket. Vanity hood. Got a street scoop. A lot of hoods, actually. Kind of cool. I think I'm just gonna go the carbon hood for now. Lights, I'm gonna put some xenons on there. Liveries. Do I want a livery? I don't th think I do. Um, they look kind of the same as uh, the regular Vigero liveries. Official pace car. That's kind of cool. I kind of like that one. Um, are these the same? Nah, they're kind of different than the other Vigero, I think. Anyway, I don't think I'm going to go for a livery. Mirrors. Uh, let's go see the GT mirrors. What do they look like? Um, Go with the GT mirrors, carbon. Plate. Plate, we're gonna put our Mr. Bix on there. Rear diffuser, okay. Um, kinda hard to see. Oh, overkill diffuser, that's funny. Let's just go with a carbon diffuser, keep a carbon theme going. Respray. Respray, let's do a metallic. Let's do what? Maybe a nautical blue? Light blue? Let's do a nautical blue. What's the per lesson on this? It's a light blue. Oh, 
Let's just keep it like that. That looks nice. I think so. Maybe a uh, maybe a gray per lesson. We'll see. Let's see how it looks with a gray. Let's go with a bluish silver for this. Okay. Looking good. Not too bad. What does secondary do? Secondary do anything on the outside? On the inside. Interior stitching. Okay. So let's make that also a nautical blue. All right, skirts. choices let's just go carbon keeping that same kind of carbon theme splitters gray splitter definitely some aggressive ones I'm not gonna put a splitter on I am going to go back to the front bumper and was there was there a carbon version of this or no Maybe that was the carbon version of this. Okay. Uh, where were we? We were splitters. Okay, spoilers. Let's look at the spoilers. Secondary, aftermarket, little bitty ones. Uh -oh. So you can put them on. I'm not. Uh, let's do. Let's do street suspension. Transit up. Turbo it up. Actually. Um. All right. I'm gonna leave it on there for now. But this actually has HSW on there. So we're gonna stop by the HSW and put it on after we leave here. So windows. Let's put a dark smoke. Wheels. I like the wheels on here, but sadly I have to change it to change the color. And let's see, is it track? Like I know, I know a wheel that's gonna look really good on this. Uh, it looks good too. Expressway looks good, but it's the high five that I'm gonna put on here, and I am gonna make those a dark steel put the bulletproofs on there how about a design no we'll skip it all righty I'm looking kind of good nice and clean nice clean build not too bad okay let's uh let's take it out and go down to the Gonna go down to LS Carmine and put the HSW on here. So according to some other YouTubers that this is actually with the HSW, this is actually the going to be the best uh, muscle car for racing now. And um, you know this car handles well for a muscle car. It's really fairly quick. It's gonna get even more quicker in a minute here. Acceleration is good. I think it has, if you take this on a drag race, I think it has like nine gear shifts, I believe. I think it's got the full nine. 
It's either a nine or ten. I for, I, I'm sorry, I forget. Um, so let's, uh, yeah, definitely try it. Try it out. Again, this is steep price, 2.3, and then the HSW is probably gonna be another million, maybe. Alright, HSW, here we go. Oh, HSW upgrade, another five... 500,000 for HSW. Alrighty. Um, actually, since I'm here, I'm gonna make these wheels a bit darker. I want them to match the carbon that we have on the car already. Um, transmission, we're gonna make it the, the HSW transmission. Uh, what else? Oh, turbo. HSW race plus turbo. Any new liveries? Just the house, right? Yep, just house the liveries. And engine. HSW tune. Brakes. HSW brakes. Not that it matters. Armor. Okay, let's uh, take it back out. Man, it's so quick now. So this is kind of a fun car. I mean, not too bad. Alrighty. Wheels stay in line. Good hand, decent handling for a muscle car anyway. I, there was a glitch on here and I wonder if it's still, still on this car or if Rockstar has fixed it. So let's, uh, Let's park it over here and check out that glitch and uh, have some final thoughts. Let's lower the top of this. All right, this actually descends back into the trunk and there's the glitch. It is not fixed. That is so ugly. You see, do you guys see that? It is right there on a the passenger side window. That little piece of window does not go down. Let's 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 see here nope nothing okay so final thoughts should you pick this car up eh. i actually think i would go for the original vaguero zx instead of this one obviously this one is nice because it is a convertible or whatnot um, again, if you guys want me to customize the original Vigero ZX, please let me know below. Uh, for 2.3, actually almost 2.4 with all the upgrades from HSW, I would probably pass on this one. I think the original is much better. Um, if you're going to race, maybe pick it up. But again, even the old one, you can probably get away with racing and beating and getting used to it and everything like that so anyways be sure to subscribe click that like click the dislike if you don't like my videos it's okay i won't be offended uh comment below and click the bells leave some comments and i will catch y'all in the next one okay let's go